a tease of Shinzo Abe Prime Minister World War II. Although Abe is returning the favor that Obama did for him by visiting Hiroshima, the Pearl Harbor visit could smooth the way for Abe to build a strong relationship with the incoming Trump administration, Seaman said. Abe's announcement came just two before the 75th anniversary of the deadly December 7, 1941 attack on the U.S. naval base in Hawaii. Japanese forces attacked Pearl Harbor in the hope of destroying U.S. power in the Pacific. Abe, in a brief statement to reporters, said he would visit Hawaii on December 26 and 27 to pray for the war dead at the naval base at Pearl Harbor and to hold a final summit meeting with Obama before the latter's presidency ends. It's a sign of reconciliation and commitment that the U.S. and Japan relationship has reached this point too. Prime Minister Abe has politicians within his own Liberal Democratic Party who will object to his paying atonement in this way because there are some political voices in Japan who reject the principle of what we see as guilt for causing the war, Warren told CNN. He also said he wants his meeting with Obama to be a chance to show to the world his resolve to maintain and strengthen the Japan U.S. alliance. There had been speculation that Abe would reciprocate by visiting Pearl Harbor with Obama during the final days of his presidency. It allows him to take his place in history as the first sitting Japanese prime minister to officially visit Pearl Harbor, just as Obama, in May, was the first sitting U.S. president to visit Hiroshima. Next up in world Trump may have just thrown decades of US-China relations into disarray the Italian prime minister is resigning. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.